Vlogmas friends. Welcome to day 18 million and eight of December 2020. Yep. Anyway, today I am finally going to tackle the office. I'm going to take you up with me to do that. I just did a quick like overlook for myself. There's no way I'm going to get the whole office organized today, but I'm going to at least get the desk area unpacked and those bins out of there because they're driving me nuts. So we're going to do that, but first we're going to eat some chocolate and we're going to brew some tea to bring upstairs with us. So I thought I'd do a little advent calendar section today. So I actually didn't do this yesterday. Yesterday would have been the, or did I? Did I? Maybe I did. <sighs> I can't remember you guys. Oh, I think I totally did. I thought I skipped a day. No, knowing me, I would not skip a day of chocolate. That feels... Oh, I did. I skipped day 11. I did skip a day of chocolate, so we'll do two days today. I haven't showed the, the, truff the truffles in a while. If you're one, curious, this was the Charbonnel de Walker advent calendar. Very fancy, high-quality truffles. Ooh. Look at that. Um, sold out kind of a while ago. It's my first year having it, and I'm really enjoying it. What is this powdery goodness? Not the lemon. Sea salt banana, maybe? Or is that yellow? I'm not sure. Because I'll have to eat it. I actually don't know. It doesn't taste very banana-y. Hmm, that's the first trouble I have not been able to identify, but... Oh, I feel very lucky to get two today. That feels like an extravagance. This is nice because instead of getting a box of truffles where I'm tempted to eat them all in one day, just to have one truffle a day, it's just been really... I kind of want a truffle advent calendar for like the whole year. <laughs> we wouldn't call it an advent calendar, obviously, but let's see if we can identify this one. This might be the orange one. Orange is my least favorite pairing with chocolate. This is good regardless. All right, tea time. I did open the tea yesterday. It was really delicious. It was really delicious. Okay, here's 13. Came with this, like, beet rock sugar that you brew in with the tea. It was delightful. Oh, a black tea. Gingerbread man. Is it too late to have black tea? It's going on three o'clock. Wasn't there a day of herbal tea that I didn't drink? I might drink the black tea anyway. I feel like that's something I want to have slightly earlier in the day. Oh, I found it. It was day 10. A rosemary harvest deep. Let's make this. I've been asked to show how I use my Breville One Touch Tea Maker to make tea. So I'm going to do that for you. I put in about half the pouch of tea there. This is to taste. Um, generally, I think it's um, full serving for one cup of um, loose leaf tea. I think it's a teaspoon and a half. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just a teaspoon. But anyway, I put it in a little basket. It's magnetized. It kind of sits up at the top. And then I Select the type of tea, so this is herbal, and I like mine brewed strong, so it adjusts the temperature and the brew time based on what you select, uh, what kind of tea you select. But you can also do custom, where you choose your own brew temperature and brew time, if you feel like it. Then I'm going to push the hot, the tea button, not the hot water button, and before that even, oh, I didn't even put the water in. <laughs> Well, I knew I was forgetting something. I usually just put the water for the specific mug I'm using in the mug first, so I know I'm making exactly the right amount of tea for the mug I'm using. The water heats up super fast in here, so that'll probably just take about a minute, and then it's a five minute brew. And then when it's, so when, I'll show you when it comes time, but when the water's at temperature, it um, electronically drops the, well, it doesn't drop, it lowers the, tea basket with tea leaves into it, um, in it, into the water. And then it rises it up when the brew time is over and it will keep your tea warm, I think for up to an hour. So yeah, that's the Bravo One Touch. It's my favorite. Use it with tea bags, loose tea, whatever. I, you know, obviously 
boil water in it for my coffee all the time. Works great. You can see it just stopped brewing. It's magically rising up and then I will beep when it's ready for you to pick it up. Pour it, good to go. All right, y'all, it's the moment. It's the moment you've been waiting for. I gotta turn on the lights because it is just too dark to work without them. Anyway, here's the situation. Shelves are dry, I'm gonna move them into my room and I can now recycle those uh, cardboard pieces that were actually from my living, my dining room furniture build. So that was a good use of that. Not going to be working with any of the bins on the right side of the wall. Not gonna be showing you the crafting area just yet. I really, I'm just overwhelmed, so I need to take this a little bit at a time. So I think today, it's still plenty to do, but today my goal is to get through all of those bins right there. I'm not gonna worry about the closet today. I'm just gonna worry about the desk. I wanna get everything out of those bins is meant to go in the desk, I'm pretty sure. So that's what I'm going to do. First things first though, these, we're ready to move on. No more shelves on my floor. Okay, that feels better. Definitely need to vacuum in here, but I'm gonna wait till I'm all done. Vacuum and mop, because it's been a while since those things have been on the floor. I'm gonna wait till I'm all done with that. So, I know I'm gonna get questions. Hi, Ruby. The bins on these sides are things that I'm hoping to sell eventually. Not in a particular rush. The furniture is all Pottery Barn Bedford collection. I've had it for, I wanna say, 14, going on 14 years now. Um, all pieces that I'm repurposing from the old house. And I actually have a few more pieces that are in the basement that I might end up swap. I might, I have a bigger desktop. I might end up extending that just so I can push the printer out a bit and be able to pull a chair up there. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing with this room aside from the way I have it set up right now. I like the desk configuration. This is where I groom Winnie. I do groom my own dog, obviously not very well, <laughs> but I do my best. <laughs> and uh, the crafting area, which I'll show you on another day, is on this wall. And then I do have a walk-in closet over here, which we're also not gonna organize today. But all of those sh uh, drawers, I believe, are empty. Yeah, because I put everything in the bins when we moved. And I sorted through all that stuff before I moved. Now that's not to say that in sorting it today I'm not gonna find some things that I'm like ready to move on from, but that's, we'll see as we get into it. Um, but yeah, it's time to get the stuff in the drawers and get those bins out of here. It'll just feel really good. I'm going to commit the next couple of hours to this and just get it done. What do you think, Winnie? Winnie will be here resting. We do, I do need to brush you. We will work on that either today or tomorrow, okay? And you need to trim. It's time for me to trim her down. That's what this is, by the way. I do trim her myself. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but I do my best. And eventually I'm gonna do something with the walls. I, I wanna do like an inspiration wall with my um, inspo boards and, and all of that, but not, not today, one thing at a time, manageable. It's still a big project. It still feels a little overwhelming to me, but I know I can do it. I'm gonna put on the new T-Swift album and then um, I'll show you my drawers when I'm done. We'll do kind of an impromptu tour. Just envision that pretty much every drawer is empty except for some of Winnie's grooming supplies. Okay, here we go. One eternity later. Oh, oh my gosh, y'all. I thought that would that would take like two hours. No, it's been four since I last saw you. But first of all, this is just much neater. This is not finalized. This is just, I really just wanted to put everything away and have it be relatively tidy. That was my goal for this particular day. And I did that. Uh, and I got things put away in the drawers. I still have a couple of empty drawers, which is nice. But I still need to kind of like finish unpacking, organize the closet, do the little craft area, and before I can really figure out the rest of the, the stuff going on here. But yeah, I'm pleased as punch. One of the reasons it took so long too is I did all of my filing. I probably spent an hour and a half on filing alone. And look, I was able to, those are all empty bins now. 
all empty, and two more bags of donations. I cannot tell you how much stuff I decluttered when I moved from my office in my old home. Dozens of bags, dozens. It was crazy. <laughs> There's still more, but that's good. Let it go. Move on with your life. Okay, so for right now, this is essentially Winnie's grooming area. I'm probably going to somehow organize this drawer better in the future, but this is all her main grooming stuff that I use. I just want to keep it all put away. And these are the towels that I use when I dry her. So I've consolidated, and you know what I also have figured out? I tried to change these labels, because the labels still work, but the drawers are all different. Like, they should be in different locations. I can't get them out. I think I used double-sided tape to get them on, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing with that yet, but I will relabel them at some point. Um, after I've really settled in. There's nothing in this drawer at the moment. And this one's a bit of an extra, extra space. I've got all my business cards and kind of some empty organizers and my Kindle that I don't use very often. But yes, that's all there. Then this is like the main, right? So this is where I sit at my computer. So this is where I wanted all my most used stuff. On the left hand side here, we have office supplies, if you will. I can't tell you how many sticky notes that I decluttered when I moved, and I still have that many. Yes, I do. Of course, a dedicated labeler, obviously critically important. And then, this is kind of like my mail, mail center, so I've got envelopes, address labels, stamps, and then my checkbooks and business card file. And then I actually condensed my, I used to have a much bigger filing system, but of course um, I was married and I had more files to keep. So this is the filing system I have for me now. I'm using the same color coded system that I've been using for many, many moons, where the aqua is like utilities, kind of home care, bills, that sort of thing. Blue is finances, taxes, property taxes. Uh, maroon is, is health and wellness and school and things like that, and then gray is like home, furnishings, anything I've spent, mostly receipts and things for furniture, big ticket items. Um, and then I do keep um, receipts for all of the accessories that I bought over the years, um, purses and I don't know, ear jewelry and things. It's come in handy when I've been selling stuff too. So that's all in there in a very handy place. I've got recycling and trash. I'm still using, if you remember from the old days, the box that houses all of my wires and I still have the same, um, maybe I'll crawl under there and show you. It might be a little dark, but I'm using the same organ cord organization that I did before. So all of the cords plug into power banks in this box. Ouch, I just hit my head, which is made to house power cords so it's appropriately ventilated and whatever. This little cabinet I literally just brought over from the old house and it's something that has all of my planner supplies in it and I don't use all of that stuff anymore but I'm not quite ready to part with it yet because I know that I tend to change up my planner system every couple of years so I think I'm going to hold on to it for a little while and then we'll see. So over here in this top drawer, I've taken everything that I was keeping on top of the desk that was adding a lot of clutter. My most used notebooks, current, you know, current month receipts, kind of budgeting stuff, and then screen and device cleaners. Um, and I put them in the store because the drawer was empty and I was like, I'm gonna put them in that drawer. I don't know if having like, this is all the paper paperwork and stuff that I have to go through um, that's, you know, current. I don't know if having it in a drawer is going to work for me. Sometimes if it's out of sight, it gets out of mind, so I don't know. This is a uh, printer supplies. So for my little Epson PM400 that I use all the time to print four by six, it also prints up to five by seven, but that's what I print most of my pictures on for my memory keeping. So I've got ink, and this is my favorite printer paper, the Epson Ultra Premium Photo. Uh, glossy and then I've got uh, ink cartridges for my other printer which you guys I've had this printer for at least 10 years it's an all-in-one you know can, you can scan stuff and 
It prints photos great too. It still works and it works great. So I don't think they sell that model anymore, but it's a Canon. And then I have all of my labels and printer paper, presentation paper, some larger photo paper in this drawer. Then if we slide one, this is one instance where the labels matched up one uh, unit over here. I've put all of my greeting cards and um, just snail mail stuff in here. These are great. I love these little organizers. These are from the container store. I've had them forever. I think they still sell them and I just have them separated by category. Um, works out great. And then down here um, is stuff for when I ship out any like pretty neat living things. It's all of my pretty neat living shipping cards and labels and things and then just regular shipping supplies. And this unit is completely empty. There's nothing in there. And that is it. And I am tired and <laughs> ready to eat dinner. I did it. That feels like a huge accomplishment. There's no more bins in the corner. I'm going to put these empty bins. I've just been kind of making a collection of all the empty bins because I've been going through so much stuff that there are so many empty bins and I've been storing them in my garage. Um, and eventually, if I don't repurpose them, I will donate them for sure. Stage one of Operation Office is done. I am thrilled. Thank you. I must say thank you. Um, I said I would do this at this week on the vlog, earlier in the week, and come the weekend, I really didn't want to do it. I thought I really didn't want to do it because I knew the filing would be annoying and I just didn't want to do it. And because I had committed to it, not just to myself, but to you all, I was like, no, I gotta do it. So last minute Louie, of course, it is the very last minute, <laughs> the very last day of the week, but I got it done. And it's giving me a lot of momentum now to tackle, I wanna tackle the um, storage closet next. And that's where I'm keeping a lot of my um, like filming equipment and um, was like different kinds of crafting supplies that I've been into over the years, like all my knitting stuff and beading and um, paints for the kids and all, you know, all that kind of stuff is in there. But then this area that I'm looking at now, which is gonna be my memory keeping area, that'll be phase three and that's gonna be magnificent. I can't wait, it is definitely an undertaking but it will be fun and I can't wait till it's done. And then we'll see, I don't know exactly what I'm doing with this space yet, there's a lot of open space in here and I kinda like it for now, but it'd be fun maybe. I don't think I need to, I have my project table still, if you're familiar with the old uh, craft, the office in my old house had that big project table in the middle. I have it in the basement right now, um, it's just kind of there. It's possible I could bring it up, but I'm not really sure I need that space. I'm kind of waiting to see. It's something that the kids can definitely use, if, if, you know, as they get um, older for sure. Right now we have the Calico Critters stuff all up there um, with all the tiny, teensy, tiny pieces. So um, I'm not so worried about Donnie swallowing things anymore, but he just tends to like scatter things. So that's up there right now. But yeah, there's would be room for maybe a little couch even in here and a nice rug or a big a chair. I don't know. Or just maybe even just I have actually in storage somewhere these really beautiful white glass in like sliding door bookcases from um oh my gosh, they were from forever ago. That would be really great to house my memory keeping um, my scrapbooks in. That might be what comes in here because I don't really think I need a, I don't really think I need a seating area. But it would be really nice to have a place to display and house all of those. So that's that's a thought. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today and seeing a bit of the transformation. I of course will be bringing you along as we go through the different phases of this. We'll do the closet and the memory keeping area another time. But I hope you all are well. Thank you so much for watching and take very good care.